all of the interior pieces were removed from the sprues, cleaned up a little bit, stuck to some sticks or onto some clamps, and then I could move on to adding a nice coat of primer before painting them in their colors. On the door panels and also on the dashboard there are a lot of trim pieces that needed to be painted in silver, so I firstly laid down a nice coat of silver, then mask that off in order for it to be painted over with some black, then remove the masking tape to reveal all the nice silver trim pieces. Pretty much all the interior is black with some silver trim pieces, though the steering wheel is wood. The cast piece from the scale production kit is a metal piece, so I did not need to paint the center, only the hoop around it with some mud brown. the carpet I of course needed to add some flocking as well so I laid down a nice thick layer of clear, poured the flocking on top of it and did the rest of the floor pan in the same way. The shifter came plated in a chrome finish, now the boot around it is of course leather or vinyl or rubber or whatsoever and not silver so I painted that with a flat black and also painted the shift knob in that same flat black and will later on add some details like the red button and also the silver chrome trim piece around it. Some other pieces were detailed with some silver, not too much as most of it was already painted with the airbrush and then masked off of course. On the other hand there were some dials on the dashboard. There were sadly no decals for that in the kit so I just had to improvise. There is a nice little detail in the dials itself so with a bit of panel line accent color, the main piece or behind it will get a blacky finish and the higher pieces like the letters and the gauges will just stay silverish. The needles in the gauge clusters needed to be painted red, now luckily there was some detail in the cast piece from the dashboard, so I could just take out a brush and carefully paint those in red. With most of the detail painting now out of the way, I could start on some minor assembly. Pretty much all of it was glued together with super glue, and I could also glue the seat belts with the seat belt buckles together that were supplied in the scale production kit.
In the movie car there is a fire extinguisher and also a sort of control panel in the center console area. Now the fire extinguisher was not supplied in any of the kits so I just scavenged my parts box and found a fire extinguisher that looked convincing, added a decal, painted it red and added the silver pieces. Also just cut out a small piece of plastic card, glued it in to act as that gauge cluster panel instrument control thingy and then just added some silver chrome paint on top of that and later I will add some details with red and black. I was unable to add the Go Baby Go logo on the shift knob as I didn't have a decal and it's really small to write that on by hand so I just added the silver chrome trim piece and the red button in the center instead.